Yes, it moves to Parliament, but she doesn't have uh, definitive approval yet. Uh, there are many uh, members of Parliament all over the spectrum, from right to left, uh, from Scotland to Ireland. All different factions have problems with this agreement, which, as the Prime Minister just said in that broadcast, uh, she votes with her head and her heart, maybe just her head, because it's somewhat like the Iranian deal, a nuclear deal. It's been done very much in secret. And she isn't facing Parliament today. She's just giving a press conference, which shows us, us sort of something she's not very proud of. And most people see the European Union as the globalist's greatest experiment in reducing nations and nationalism. And it comes to mind Macron's speech uh, on Remembrance Day uh, earlier this last few days ago, uh, when he was echoing the same spirit at the remembrance of the millions of people who died to defend their countries. It is quite scandalous. And uh, if Britain, it represents its last peaceful attempt to leave the European Union. And of course, this is being but, sold that we but, still have the laws, uh, the regulations and our borders. But she forgets to say with great duplicity that they're all under control of the European Union. But, but, John, of course, she's had a very difficult task here to placate the interests of uh, Remainers and Leavers, uh, and therefore the, the, the most likely outcome always was to end up somewhere in between, and, and she has managed to do that. Well, I don't mean to be rude, but I don't think there was any doubt about the Brexit vote. There was no in-between at all. It was out. Britain just wants to leave and be an independent country. And that was it. And this is what I went to her. I attended her first Prime Minister's questions after the Brexit vote. And she says, Brexit means we leave. And it, she said it over and over again. And it was echoed by cabinet ministers in subsequent speeches. But this is not what happened. Brexit is but, only in name. We will still be within the European Union, so, which some people in England now call the Euro Soviet. But, but, well, John, that is a very strong position uh, from someone that well, is uh, clearly well, it's the very same, much against the EU. But hold on, John, just one second. I mean, she's negotiated a deal, uh, the deal that she said is the best that she could possibly secure. So are you suggesting that the uh, outcome should be no deal? Absolutely. Uh, uh, yes, and you're saying that that is what break. the British people, is that what the British people definitively voted for? Uh, there were promises made that a deal uh, on free trade would be fairly simple to make. Well, uh, yes, there were allegations on all sides and counter-allegations. But basically, the British people want their freedom. And if the price of that freedom is problems with trade, we'll be free to trade, not just with Europe, but with the, with the whole world in our own interests, not in German and French interests, where we're left out. And uh, so the thing is a freedom to set our own laws, uh, to have our own uh, regulations, and our own borders, to defend our borders. Already, we've had mass immigration that's causing tremendous problems, political problems in Britain. They don't use the, the weapon of mass destruction, but they use the weapon okay. of mass immigration.